Welcome to River City Live. Happy Thursday. We have a lot of tickets to give away today, including Frozen, you know, the Disney on ice, so you're going to want to stick around and try to win those tickets. Now, yesterday, we got a chance to get outside, enjoy the fresh air, and enjoy Spark Walk. And we have some pictures. It's kind of like we were on vacation. Yeah, so we so have some pictures we're going to show you, like a little slideshow, and we can narrate them. You're the unfortunate <laughs> neighbors that came over to watch the slideshow with us. So. Look at this. We had a chance to meet some folks. Some, you know, it was really cool. That was a cool invention right there, the yeah. clue. Now we're looking at the sculpture. So the shark is gone. Right. Now we have the giant chicken. Uh, uh, one of our friends, Shawana Brooks. Yeah, we saw a lot of our friends at the show that were on, so it was great to see mm -hmm. them. Exactly. We made jewelry with this lovely lady at one point, Carla. And then here's, here's the, look behind there. Um, that is a mobile boutique. Yeah, and then that girl, you liked her hairstyle. Remember yeah, you talked so to her? Yeah, I made an excuse. Can I take a picture of you? Because I'm growing my hair out. And then we played a little giant pong there. Uh, milk pong. I who think won was... that game? I forgot. Uh, I know. Well, I'll tell you who lost that game. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Not supposed to be doing that, I don't think. But that big, big face was there. So, of course, we had to stick fingers in its nose. And it was fun. It's just, it That's was a great time. We're, we're like, yeah, we're modeling to that. Yeah, it was a great, oh, oh yeah, I got a Oh, but it ended ticket. on a sour note, a parking ticket. I could not talk my way out of it. But you tried. I with you. <laughs> I said, do you know who that is? That's Mark Payton. <laughs> <laughs> so then he gave us two tickets. <laughs> They threw us in the back of the car and <laughs> took us out of there. But that was a it lot was a of really fun. Good time. Yeah. It was a great time. Uh, we want to share some sad news with you. You may have heard this yesterday. Legendary country music singer Merle Haggard died, and uh, this was yesterday. Now, he was 79 years old. He was celebrating his 79th birthday. He had said at one point that he wanted to make it to his birthday, and that's exactly what he did. The Florida Theater was expecting him again. He had already postponed one show due to pneumonia, which is how he passed. Uh, they issued a very, very nice statement saying thank you for the many wonderful performances at the Florida Theater. Our thoughts are with you and your fans and your family. Uh, rest in peace, of course, Merle Haggard. Now, he was in it to the end. I mean, as, as somebody who loves country music and being on a country music radio station, 99.9 .9 Gator Country, I can tell you that many artists that you love today idolized Merle Haggard, not the least of which was Toby Keith. In fact, the last performance by Merle Haggard was Super Bowl, and he was canceling a bunch of his performances, but there was so much money in this one, he felt like he needed to get the band paid. Right. So he said, we'll go through with it. And then Toby Keith was there to watch the show, and before the show, he said to Toby Keith, uh, do you know a lot of my songs? He said, sir, I know every one of your songs. He said, stay close. And sure enough, Toby Keith had to close the show. So, but he, he wasn't going to just sit down. So so he was yeah, and he really did. He played it to the very end. He really did. He yeah. really did. So that's, that's a great story too. At the end, I didn't know that about Toby Keith. Yeah, you know, coming in. Yeah. All right. Well, today's also National Beer Day, and we have a little bit of a, a beer breakdown. So let's start with a study. So Granada University in Spain, they did a study, and it turns out that if you drink beer, consume beer after a workout, there's benefits to it. The bubbles help to quench thirst, and then the carbohydrates help you to recover and bring back the sugars that you just oh, burned off. Okay. And this is actually the second study they did, so there's something to it. And I don't know if you remember a while ago, the big thing was chocolate milk. Do you remember uh -huh. that? People were like, oh, milk. it's got sugar. No, that's not good for you. That's, like, that's bad. But this, there might be something to it. You know, if you had... You know, I'm maybe it's like to one. Try it. Yeah, exactly. Really so, okay, so you're adventurous, right? Then you're gonna yeah. like this. Okay. So there's kind of this bar crawl, and it's for, I guess, it's not a competitive drinker, but if you want to like, if you have a list that you uh -huh. want to knock off, and it's the Jack's Ale Trail Brewery Passport, and there's eight places that participate in it. Um, if you visit JacksonvilleVisitorCenters.com, you'll get a list of all the places, and if you get this passport, you get stamped at each place, mm -hmm. you win prizes. So there, you can see there, there's eight, four stamps, you get a beer koozie. Eight stamps, you get a Jack's Ale Trail t-shirt, which says, I like the party, and I'm pretty competitive when it comes to drinking. Now, it doesn't say that, but that's kind of, you know, well, what you're cool. illustrating by wearing it. And there's it, the map of the layout of where all the different places are. So, you know, you could take a little time. You don't have to do it in one day, right. and it's all throughout town, so it gets you out of your comfort zone of maybe your, your watering hole that you usually go to, and you can kind of explore the space a little bit. Uh, is it competitive, or is it more a participation award? <laughs> all you have to do is show up. And drink the beer. Yeah, and, and, and then some good deals too. On well, beer. speaking of beer deals, there's a lot throughout the day today. Chili's they have a beer deal. It's 3.50 during happy hour, so from uh, four to seven, it's select drafts only. Applebee's, obviously, if Chili's is doing something, Applebee's has to get into the mix, yeah. right? So 3.25 for a tall domestic beer. Um, also happy hour, so from three to six. And then Buffalo Wild Wings during happy hour from two to seven. So uh, if anything, it's given people an excuse 
to drink at lunch. Exactly. You think about it. So they have $3 drafts and $4 crafts. So Exactly, exactly. Or you can wait and go home and do it with your significant other who would be someone you could discuss the following with. There are some uh, new laws on the books, and one of them is a cohabitating law. The and that's in Florida, signed, right? This is Florida. Governor Rick Scott signed 20 different bills yesterday. One that he signed into law was one that was very much ignored for a long time and that was from 1868 the law against cohabitating so if you were living this was male female living together not married they're really still on the books it was a five hundred dollar fine and sixty days in jail of course this was overlooked but now it's officially off the books do you know that uh... there were four hundred thirty eight thousand uh... unmarried male and female couples that's a lot of people yeah that's a lot yeah. a lot a lot of people living in sin but it's yeah. okay now Yay! Well, at least by Florida law. Yeah. So let's talk about weird relationship habits. You know, um, we broke down the top five, and at home, think about it if you have these. And also, we have a relationship here. You're my work wife, whether you knew that or not. And we kind of have some of these too. So the first one that we pulled up is you use the bathroom at the same time. Now we're not at that stage, and now they're going to get there. Yeah. Not a, not like with a door open, but the other day we were we were in the so, side by side, and I was trying to have a conversation with you, and he's like, we can't. Yeah, we had a meeting. We had a meeting. So I walk by the woman's restroom, and I hear Eden. She's like, Mark, wait up for me. And I'm like, Eden, like, this is a whole new level Eden. of our relationship right now. But I did. I waited up for you. You know, yeah. so that was all right. Um, you inspect each other. You know, so like skin and stuff like that, uh -huh. like groom each other like monkeys do. Well, I do that hair, with my wife. Hair was sticking out a minute ago. And oh, like, I totally, I'll lick my palm and you <laughs> put it on there. I do that. Are uh, you try down each other's clothes? Um, I have an example fact, of that. <laughs> as a matter of fact, we yeah. have. Um, I let you buy that, though. Only one of us was going to be allowed to buy that dress, and I think you made the right choice. <laughs> Not because you didn't rock it more than I did, but because. <laughs> I um, tried. I tried. Reasons. Uh, weird nicknames. We have that. I call you the Edge because the biker chicks gave you that. Uh -huh. and and you're just Peyton. Peyton. You're just go by the last name. Anyway, we want to know about you on Facebook. Let us know what you think uh, if you have some weird habits with your spouse. We know that our friend Jessica Morgan had chimed in and she said that she usually has her serious discussions with her husband when he's on the toilet. That way he can't. Brilliant. Right, Brilliant. Captive really audience. <laughs> I don't want to run out of time before we can tell you about something amazing that's happening here in Jacksonville. Our mayor made an announcement, and we're going to have a big press conference a little later. It's called the Mission One Million, and our quest is to lose, as a city, one million pounds. There's a walk that's kicking things off. They say the best way to go about this personally would be to create a personal mission and then pick up a new hobby or, or something like that. Get in a group for accountability. It's a great um, idea. Uh -huh, the next step would be for you to post it on social media and then maybe tag a friend or a local company and challenge them to be a part of it and then um, use the hashtag 904 mission accepted there's a walk to help jump start the mission that starts at 215 today at the prime osborne and it goes from forsyth and lee to laura the program starts at three and everyone is invited to take part in yeah, it's a that. great cause so let's get into it we accept your mission and we'll be back <laughs> Wait, we'll be right back. The baseball grounds of Jacksonville will be hopping again with the opening of the Suns' new season. We're checking out some new additions to the grounds. Do you know the proper way to open an oyster and to enjoy what's inside? Get ready to learn. And we're helping you get your taxes done with ease using some real sets. That's all ahead as River City Live continues.